Hey guys, Tom Bramwell from Eurogamer here, playing Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut on the Wii U. Uh, now, this game came out on PC, PS3 and 360 in the summer of 2011, uh, and this Director's Cut aims to fix one of the, well, a few of the very small things that people didn't like about it. Uh, one of the most notable of those is the boss fights. This is a largely a first person stealth game where you spend a lot of time crouched behind desks hacking people's email or incapacitating them and, and generally uh, being quite um, uh, hands off. So when people encountered the boss fights which are extremely violent and expect you to gun people down they felt quite jarring. I wanted to do a video showing you what the reworked first of these boss fights against a guy called Barrett looks like. Uh, it's relatively spoiler free um, and it starts just after this door. Uh, there's a little cutscene, but I cut it off before you get any uh, kind of story spoilers. Oh, and here I am going to the gamepad, which obviously I couldn't capture at the same time. So that you can... Uh, I was pulling out the uh, uh, rocket launcher. Anyway, this is... Uh, this is Adam Jensen, the main guy, walking into this arena. Very exciting stuff. Two guys getting in an elevator, and here he is, Barrett! They obviously haven't decided to make him any shorter, uh, or make him any less punchy of you in the face. So anyway, in the original version of this encounter, which takes place in this uh, hangar style room, I guess, um, you couldn't really do anything except, you see the, see the pillars, um, this is largely the shape of the original room. You couldn't really go outside it, there was like a, a little cupboard at one end that had some guns in it. But you basically just had to move around these pillars, trying to avoid this guy's really irritating machine gun fire, and you could always see where you were and trying to get him to uh, uh, walk close to those barrels so you could explode them or, you know, whatever, gun him down. Uh, and this was quite bad if, you know, all you had was, for example, a stun gun. You also couldn't uh, evade him and then sneak up behind him. So what they've done for this reworked version is they've added uh, an upper tier for a start. So you can see here I'm up in some office, uh, like, control room type thing. Um, there's, uh, that was, that was, there's another ladder in the far corner. And that uh, walkway on the left there moves you... Um, uh, allows you to go all the way around and through a vent um, to reach it. So you've got a bit more maneuverability. Um, if you hack this computer, which... Uh, do I do this with the... Uh, oh, I'm being shot at. Anyway, yeah, so I'm hacking this computer. The hacking minigame in, in Deus Ex Human Revolution on the Wii U takes place on the gamepad, which isn't the most intuitive, um, as you'll, you'll know if you read about uh, it in my review uh, on Eurogamer, but, uh, you know, it works fine. And... Um, once you've hacked this terminal, which I'm nearly done doing, uh, unfortunately Barrett hasn't thrown a grenade at me in the meantime, uh, you are able to open a door on the ground floor, which gives you access to another sort of service tunnel type thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move around. Yeah, so you see the uh, that, that box at the end there. When I remove that, actually, let's, yeah, on the left here, there's some, there's some stuff you can pick up. So there's a... Uh, a gun and, and some vodka, interestingly, in case you want to, you know, drink away the pain of the boss fights. Um, anyway, you can go in this vent, and it takes you all the way around, as I was saying. Now, the thing about this boss fight, um, along with the other ones uh, in the game, there are four in total, is that even in their tweaked incarnations, I think they feel out of place with the rest of the game. Yeah, you, you know, you can do more stuff now, you've got more tactical options, uh, there are ways to stay out of the, the, the boss's way, use... Um, turrets and other things to take them out indirectly but you, you fundamentally you're still trying to kill a bunch of guys which if your general approach to the game has been you know non-lethal or even fairly lethal but stealthy um, doesn't feel particularly fitting still in this Barrett fight uh, you can now go into this uh, area where you've got a okay there's a security room I'm just gonna throw an automatic unlocking device on that um, those devices actually by the way form part of the explosive mission DLC pre-ordered DLC I think it was for the original game you get the, all of the DLC for um, Human Revolution here uh, Picked up a pocket secretary. Uh, you can't see it because it's on the gamepad But that's showing me that there's a security code for a nearby door. Here's a computer. I'm gonna hack uh, Not bothering to um, go through the hacking minigame this time and this one gives you control of yeah right so uh, nothing, nothing really useful there I think if I had the right augmentations unlocked then that would give me the option to uh, take control of some turrets um, but it but since I am I haven't got that I'm gonna you know drown away my stories by moving that bin okay so he's not out there I don't think uh, there's that security camera which is unhelpful um, and this room on the right here has the turret guns in it which as you can see are just gonna shoot at me that is no good however this this uh, area 
Um, I actually do have the security code for that, but you don't care about that. Um, you just want to see what's inside. Uh, there is some more explosive canisters. Those are quite useful. If you use up all the barrels outside, you can come back in and grab those and uh, use them to, uh, to blow him up a bit. And there's some weaponry. I'm going to dig out my uh, RPG here. Now, I really wish I could say that this is going to be a, a demonstration of how you take this guy down, but I suspect this is going to be... Uh, a pretty um, feeble attempt. It took me about, I mean, even even, uh, even in this reworked version, it took me about sort of 10 attempts to get past this guy uh, the first time I tried it, and I'm not confident of doing it the first time I'm attempting it on video. Um, so forgive me, I'm just trying to give you an insight into how the boss fight has changed, rather than showing you how to complete it. See, look, I've wasted a rocket already. The, these rockets are not the easiest things to uh, fire blind, it's fair to say. Oh, no, that was rubbish as well. So he's still got his full health bar. I'm pretty sure it didn't show you their health bars either in the uh, original version, but um, uh, so that's a, a helpful detail, illustrating very well the fact that I've been completely useless in my attempts to hurt him. Okay, let's go back into my inventory, drop the rocket launcher, and pick up this. What's that shotgun? Yeah, let's try that. Maybe I can blow up one of the crates. So effectively, I'm falling back on the tactics that worked in the original version of this fight because I've rubbished up my attempts to do it slightly differently. Like I say, invest your points differently and you may be able to get different outcomes. Um, I think overall I would say that this fight is a slight improvement on the one in uh, the original game. And I think that's much the case of the other ones as well. Um, they still don't feel like they really belong in this game. Um, but they are a bit better. Which is fair enough. And the rest of Deus Ex Human Revolution is magnificent. Oh look, I've done some damage to him. Now, I reckon if I can just... Uh, if I can just sort of get him over here and blow up this barrel, then let's see. Ah, oh, crap, he's throwing grenades. Okay, no, this should be fine. This should be mm. Okay, well, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, that'll do, I think. Um, you, you should That should give you a sense of how the boss fight has changed, and I will leave you with this very fetching uh, uh, menu system. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to Eurogamer, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.